Time is running out for those who want to fly out of the storm's path. Tampa International Airport is closing at 5 this evening. Airport officials say the closure will allow crews to secure aircraft and take other precautions ahead of the storm. Officials say they don't know when the airport will reopen. Now, some of those who are flying out of Ian's path are traveling right through Albany. News 10 ABC's Harrison Grubb speaking with one of those passengers, telling us more about what it took for them to get to the capital region. It's a busy day of travel here at Albany International Airport as some passengers who are in the path of Hurricane Ian are traveling through the capital region in an effort to escape from the storm. Fabiane Sagerson is one of them. I was in Tampa, close to the beach, so I was planning to come back home tomorrow. She was able to switch onto a flight this morning, ahead of Tampa Airport's closure this afternoon. I'm glad I, I could come this morning because I'm not sure if I will be able to come late in the afternoon. It was an eerie early end to her Gulf Coast vacation. As Floridians continued their preparations for the powerful storm. Last night, I saw everybody close the, the shops, putting the woods in the walls and the doors, putting the bag of the sand in the, in the doors, like protecting themselves. It's so sad. I was scared. The Albany Airport put out a travel advisory this morning alerting passengers heading to these airports about potential waivers. Passengers booked on these airlines will be able to rebook their trips to a number of Florida airports with change in cancellation fees as well as fare differences waived. If you're traveling on Allegiant, their website says passengers must call their customer care number to change a flight to avoid any additional costs. Each airline has different rules and timelines about travel changes. To see if you're eligible, you're encouraged to contact your carrier. Reporting at Albany International Airport, Harrison Grove News 10, ABC.